Today we're taking a look at the DC Direct Blackest Night Series 1 Blue Lantern Saint Walker action figure, so stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back to Comageddon TV where all geek culture collides. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Today we're taking a look at the DC Direct Blackest Night Series 1 Blue Lantern Saint Walker action figure. Now, ordinarily, I would have this guy up on a turntable. However, as you can see, he I've kind of got him leaning against the wall because he's not, he doesn't really stand up that well, even with a peg. He's very, I think his legs might have warped while he was in storage. So he's not, because he's so slim and lanky, he just he won't stand up that well he should stand about like that but over time his legs have warped slightly and I can't really get him to stand so here's his display base it's a blue transparent blue plastic with the white decal on it to form the blue lantern symbol very nice and he does come with a blue lantern uh, just the same uh, same sculpt as the other lanterns in this series and it does have the clear lens inside to where if you hold it up to a light say just like that and that's all I'm gonna say about the lanterns I've discussed it in other reviews such as the Hal Jordan uh, Green Lantern Blackest Night DC Direct review uh, as you'll notice with this guy he's got an arm brace on because when John reviewed the entire line uh, about a little over a year year and a half ago he went to uh, show the articulation and because as soon as I take them out of the box I just set them on my shelf the joints were very stiff and this one busted so had to use a, a bread tie took the uh, paper off of it and just laced it through hold it in place uh, I will say that they could have maybe made these guys a little bit better uh, maybe a little bit stronger because these are meant for the adult collector, uh, given the price and everything, I don't think a lot of kids uh, would be having these and playing with them. Uh, I will say I do really like that uh, metallic blue paint. However, it seems to be two slightly different blues, as you can tell from the thought, uh, hips. There seems to be a darker shade blue on this side lighter shade this side and no it's not the light as you can see turn them around and yeah and I th it appears to be the same way with the with his bracelets too lighter blue darker blue I'm not really sure what's going on there uh, but as you can see his legs did slightly warp um, I had him in a box with my other Green Lantern figures in storage because I was running out of room to display them. I may have to heat it up a little in order to get him to stand on his own again. Or just put something in between his legs to hold him out like this for a while in order to get him to stand on his own again. So anyway articulation and I'm gonna try my darndest not to break anything this time so anyway his head just a standard joint no ball joint no rocker just turns from side to side unlike uh, Laura Flays unlike Hal Jordan um, and his arms they do go out that far go up I 
me get back a little bit get full view. He is a very tall figure, about a seven inch figure. Uh, about the same height as Laura Flea's, just a lot skinnier. There is no uh, bicep swivel, unlike Hal Jordan and Laura Flea's. Uh, because he's so slender, I don't think they could really put one in there. Um, elbow joint single. Ooh, that's... I don't want to do that. That was starting to pop out, just like the other one. But single joint, uh, single joint there. Push that back in. Very fragile figure because he's so skinny. He was, and because I, th more than likely because he was series one, I don't think they had everything just right at that time his legs do go all the way out about that far um, just like with Lar fleas they can go back that far uh, no thigh swivel uh, knee single knee joint can go about that far no ankle no calf swivel uh, his little headpiece does not swivel either. Uh, but that's really all I can say about this figure because I don't know. He, he, I think it just goes to, it just goes back to um, sculpt. Uh, good sculpt, but they made him way too slender. Um, they didn't really take into account, uh, the joints easy to pop out, easy to break if it's not played with for a while. And like I said, DC Direct is mainly for the adult collector. Um, yeah, there is no hand swivel either. Either. But DC Direct is mainly for the adult collector, so um, they should have thought about that, knowing that the collectors aren't going to be taking them out and playing with them constantly. Um, they really should have thought about that when putting these plastic pins in, uh, told everything. The Blue Lantern signal symbol it's not completely sculpted. It's slightly sculpted, raised above the chest, with a decal in the center. Um, and the inconsistency between the paint, which I really didn't even notice until now. Um, I don't know. It, it's kind of off-putting as well. Uh, and if... You try to make him hold his lantern, it just kind of sits on his fingertips, really. Yeah, not that great. Um, yeah, I, there's not really a lot else I can say about this guy, considering all the problems that I've seen thus far. Uh, after he's been out of store, uh, since he's been in storage, I would like to put him on display, but that seems to be kind of difficult now since I can't really get him to stand. Really need to uh, work on his legs, try and get him back. Let's see if they're good enough yet. No, he almost kind of needs two pegs uh, to stand. They, they really should have paid closer attention to this. There we go. They really should have paid closer attention to this. Um, foresaw problems collectors were going to have 
with this guy. Um, yeah, I can't really say a whole lot more. So, if you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV. Take care, guys.